It's a quarter of a millennia old. It's been here since the beginning of Kentucky. This big, majestic, wonderful old tree, the Burr Oak. Hey everybody, this is Colonel Carson with Family Tree Nuts, and I'm in McConnell Springs Park. It's the place that's known as the birthplace of Lexington. Like I said, this tree is about 250 years old. That means it was a sapling in about 1770. It's only a few hundred yards from the McConnell Springs, where in 1774 and 1775, the McConnell brothers came and founded a camp that eventually became known as the City of Lexington. That means that this tree was here then. Sometimes we say things in passing like that, but I want you to really think about that. This tree has seen every part of Kentucky's history since pre-settlement. It's been here for everything in Kentucky's modern history. Think about that. Think about something that happened in Kentucky post Native American occupation, and this tree was here for that. It was standing right here. Now, I know Dr. Thomas Walker came to Kentucky in 1750, and long hunters were into Kentucky prior to 1770, but to get the gist of what I'm trying to say here, Take a look at this tree and just imagine all the historic things that happened while it was standing right here. Think about the changes and the things that were invented while this tree was here. Think about the lives of all the people that have lived when this tree stood. This tree is really something to see and I encourage you to come take a look and enjoy its beauty and marvel in its majesty. You can see it to the left and a little bit in the back of the park. Along the walking trails, so, here I am in McConnell Springs Park in Lexington, Kentucky, the home of the Burr Oak, the tree that's been here for all of Kentucky's modern history. And hey, remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.